Today we bring you the story of a house, a small beach house built 60 years ago on the banks of the Magathy River by Sybil Looper Chandler. It's a house very typical of the cottages built by residents of Baltimore who wanted to get away from the heat and noise and chaos of the city and have some peace and tranquility and rough it on the shores of the Magathy River. Our story begins in 1956. The first computer hard drive is invented. Elvis Presley releases his first hit single, Heartbreak Hotel, and Sybil Looper Chandler builds her own beach house at the age of 19. Her father, an important doctor at the University of Maryland, owned 850 acres of land on Eagle Hill on the Magathy River. He built a manor house called Linstead on the property. He gave 14 acres to Sybil to build her own beach house. There was no water, no road, and no utilities. So she had to have a well drilled, build a barn, an outhouse, and a road to the beach. They built a fence because of a steep cliff nearby. It cost her $10,000 almost $90,000 in today's money. At first, the house didn't have a floor, a kitchen, or glass windows. She and her family had to sleep on cots. The water from the well was red from all of the iron it contained. It wasn't much of a house, but it was her dream house. She would bring her children down to spend the summers there. All day long they were in the water and they ate fresh fish and crabs that they caught from the river. It was difficult to go shopping, so once a week they went to Glen Burnie to buy groceries. Of course, she needed some assistance to take on such a project. Pasadena residents, Hosey and JC, who had previously worked for her father, helped Sybil build the house. They helped build the house as well as the barn and a garden. They planted asparagus and squash and helped take care of the horse and the goats in the barn. Sybil called them wonderful and considered them to be her buddies. Six years later, Sybil added an A-frame house for her mother to stay in. Other people were living in the manor house that her father had built. The new A-frame house faced Broad Creek, while the older home faced the Magathy. The new house had two bedrooms, a loft, a bathroom, a septic system, water, and electricity. The house had a beautiful stone fireplace in the main room. In the 70s, Sybil and her daughters started going down to the cabin in the winter they added electric baseboard heaters to keep them warm, as well as a bathroom with a shower. Lion's Watch Drive is the road she bulldozed after her former road was cut off. In 1980, they moved back to Baltimore, and in 1986, Sybil sold her house, moved to the Eastern Shore, where she still lives. 